I'm back again with a video. Um, I'm starting to now look at the comments that I have on some of my videos. And the one I see that I have the most commented on is me passing my RN boards. And I have seen where a couple people have written things like I should talk about how I study. And I think I had one on there about talk about how I opened my assisted living facility. Um, I will talk about that as well. Um, but I'm so grateful that during this pandemic, I do not have a assisted living facility at this time because it is very scary. Right now, skilled nursing and assisted living facilities are getting the blunt of patients with COVID-19 that are dying. Uh, but we'll talk about that in another video. So you guys want to know what was my study habits or what did I did? Like I did say, I did take that test three times and it was hard. So I'm going to talk about mostly um, the test when I studied for the last time because I think I put more effort in studying than the first two times. The first time I was an LPN for so long, I just thought I had it, I can do it, and I was done with it. Second time, I did a little bit of a study, but not as much. But the third time, I had took um, a review course, um, Remar. I see that she's blown up a whole lot. And congratulations to her. She's really good. Her and her husband was really, really nice. I took her in Fort Lauderdale. Um, she's from Chicago. But she came down and did a class down here in Fort Lauderdale. I took that one. And then me, I always like to, you know, refresh myself. I also had the online version where I had study guides and books. And I didn't keep any of those things. I shared it with other people that was having part time taking the test. So I did share it with a couple other people. But I wish I could have kept, I should have kept some of her stuff that she gave me. Because it was really, really good. However, after I did her remar and I did you know listen to on at home you know on the video or on my way to work or whatever i was doing i listened to her i subscribed to you world you world is a simulated test as the NCLEX, and i dedicated myself to take 75 questions a day and then review whatever i missed you know um in order to prepare for the last time i was taking the NCLEX. So I was working at a doctor's office at that time from nine to five. So I would get home at five, take me a shower, eat five thirty, six o'clock on the dot. I had this little um, thing that said on my door that I am out um, until 10 o'clock. That's in case if my kids came over to visit me, they knew not to disturb me. Um, when my son, I think my son was still home when he came home from work, he knew not to disturb me. Mind you, I used to play my review, Remar, on my surround sound. And my kids used to be going crazy because they used to be like, I could take the test. Because we listen to this lady every day. And it was it was a ritual. It was a thing that I did. I dedicated myself to do it because I was determined to pass this NCLEX. Um, so I would do daily words, um, questions from you world. I would do them daily. I would do it Monday through Friday. Saturday would be like my relaxed day. I wouldn't think about NCLEX or anything like that. And then Sunday, I would listen to Rebar again, listen to some of the things that she was talking about, review her notes and stuff like that, get prepared for Monday. Because I knew Monday when I got off of work, back again, I would do that. I did that all the way up until testing day. I think two days before testing day, I stopped. I stopped and I just like really did something. I think I posted something on Facebook where I had went and got a spa treatment the day before that, massages and stuff. Went to the water because I love the water. Went to the water, listened to the water and stuff. And then I went on ahead and went down to um, Miami and take the test, even though they said I shouldn't take it. Um, that was basically my study ritual. Um, I also talked about in my video that I didn't do the traditional college. I went to a private school college down in Fort Lauderdale as well. And a lot of people kept telling me not to do it because it wasn't accredited college and I wouldn't be able to do anything more with the RN. Um, I couldn't go back and do any, get any more credits or if I wanted to be a nurse practitioner or anything like that, which I don't. But however, I did want to, you know, want to go back and um, 
I researched and researched and I found a college that did accept her credits and I am currently enrolled in to one of their programs now. Um, it's Grand Canyon um, University. They accepted the college um, credits. Um, this college was uh, a black owned college. So yes, I, I really wanted to go. And um, the first, I wanna say the first three or four clinical experience that I had, I was overseas in Bahamas. Um, I went to Bahamas and did some clinicals over there for the first three. And then we started just doing rest of our clinicals here in Florida, but it was different. It was not the traditional way of doing, um, going to get your RN. Um, um, you know, they do offer the online class, but I think I heard something along the lines that they're not doing that anymore. Um, I can't even think of the name of the school. But I know a lot of people know about Accessia or something like that. A lot of people knew about it because I had thought about it. It's supposed to be a self-paced um, type um, RN degree that you can do. But nevertheless, I love my experience going to that private school. I really did. I enjoyed it. Um, it. It motivated me to do more and to especially see people like me, you know, brown skin people trying to go in to be an RN. That was a plus for me. And um, yes, I did it. And now I'm working on my bachelor's at Grand Canyon. And I hope to enroll in 22, enroll into the master program there as well. So keep up the good work. You guys keep, I appreciate all the thing and love and support. It was so many people saying, you know, congratulations because I know a lot, a lot of people don't want to admit that they had to take that test three times. Uh, four times, five times, how many times you have to take it. But it doesn't matter. When you take that test and you pass, it doesn't tell on your license that you took it 13 times. It does not tell you that. You know, a lot of people have testing anxiety and I am the one, you know, I just, I just felt so nervous trying to take this test. And I think I got really nervous because in the beginning I was very cocky and you have to learn, you got to humble yourself. So once I learned that and realized that I don't know everything, I don't, you know, know it all just because I've been an LPN for 13 years, I think things changed around for me. So, but yes, so if you can get your, um, a good review that you can listen to and subscribe to you world, you world is the number one thing. And as you testing, taking those questions and analyzing them and stuff like that, you will, you will pass. So um, thanks for everybody for your comments and things and stuff like that. And I know I've been in and out making videos and stuff, but it's been kind of crazy, real crazy. But hopefully um, I can get back on track of things with that. Um, also, I'm in the process. I don't know if I'm going to change my name and stuff like that. So right now I put on that nurse Tisa. Okay. So if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do click that bell so you can get the notification of when I put a new video up and um, keep the comments coming. Um, anything you guys want to know about, let me know in the comments. I will try to make sure I make another video so I can answer those questions. And I think the next video probably will be on my journey opening up um, assisted living facility. I had it for 10 years. So um, yeah, it was, it was a journey. All right, until next time, peace.